After leading the Clippers for most of the last decade, Doc is now back in the East with Ben Simmons, Joel Embiid, and the Sixers. No secret Ben Simmons has struggled with his shooting, but that does not seem to bother Philly's new head coach. I don't care about Ben shooting as much as so many other people seem to care about it. Uh, I care that he's a great player, and I'm going to let him play. I'm going to give him the keys and let him be free uh, and play. Um, if, if he takes no shots, I'm fine. All right, some interesting comments there. Now, there is a debate whether Embiid or Simmons is the top dog in Philly, but Stephen A. asked you, do you think that Simmons is going to be the best player for the Sixers? I do think he's going to be the best player with the Sixers, but I will say this. Um, Max, you, you, you know how, how, how close I am with Coach Doc Rivers. I love the man, and, um, but I'm going to say this affectionately. I can say this to Doc Rivers because that would be he and I debating basketball before he ultimately schools me because he knows more than I do, of course. But I think that is the most asinine thing I've heard Doc Rivers say. <laughs> he doesn't care if Ben Simmons shoot the ball. Stop it. And if you don't care, damn it, Doc Rivers, you better care. Okay? Doc Rivers, let's understand something here. Do y'all know Max Kellerman? In the three full seasons that Ben Simmons has played basketball in the National Basketball Association, do you have any idea, Max Kellerman, how many three-point shots he's attempted? He's attempted. I don't he's know the number of attempts. He, no. He's attempted 24 three-point shots in his career. He's made two. That's it. Two three-pointers in three years. That's Ben Simmons. So essentially, come playoff time, a lot of times you see defenses lagging off and basically daring you to do something. And if the ball is in his hands, essentially it's four and five basketball. Now, this is Doc Rivers coaching this team. OK, not Brett Brown. And we understand that, even though we wish nothing but the best for Brett Brown. But in the end, what it comes down to is this. Ben Simmons is still going to be your best player. Here's the reason why. Because outside of his shooting ability, he could do everything else. He's an elite defender. He's about 6'10 with that wingspan. He's got mad ball handling skills. His basketball IQ is off the charts. He's an exceptional passer. We know all of that. The acquisition of Seth Curry is the difference here. Seth Curry, the son-in-law of Doc Rivers, that acquisition is pivotal because that brother can shoot. He's a Curry. He's just a Curry. I mean, it's got to the point, Max, if your last name is Curry, the expectation is that you can shoot. Yeah. I don't give a damn if you're a Curry from another, uh, another country. Okay, you have no relation to the Currys whatsoever. They are such they are such lethal snipers that if your last name is Curry, the expectation is you can shoot the damn basketball. So when you have him, thigh bowl is no joke defensively. We get all that, but a Tobias Harris, a, a Joel Embiid, and the way that Doc Rivers will utilize them. The way he's going to unleash Ben Simmons, I think he's going to unleash Ben Simmons to be more of a scorer as opposed to a shooter. I think Ben Simmons, knowing he has that freedom, will be more creative. And I think that will lead to him facilitating so much for everybody else. That's what's going to make him the best player the Sixers have, even more so than Joel Embiid. Ben Simmons is already a great player. I thought he was the best defender when he was healthy, you know, before the knee injury in the NBA last year, period. I thought he should have been defensive player of the year up until that point. He's six foot ten. He has he's like a, a, a kind of poor man's LeBron, only with better handles than LeBron, but he has that kind of court vision and passing ability. He can finish at the rim, all those things. And by the way, since he's come into the league, he has created more open looks from three for his teammates than anyone in the league. So yeah. he actually assists you literally in that department. He is a great player already, and yet Embiid will be the best player on the Sixers this season. Stephen A., remember when I was complaining about J.J. Reddick's transition defense and that was hurting the Sixers? Okay. I think I fell victim to, to something that is, afflicts many, which is you, you kind of get bogged down in what someone can't do instead of looking at what they can do. Reddick was sorely missed by the Sixers, especially by Embiid. Right. Could you hold on for a second? Like that. And, Could you yep. stop right there? Could you stop yep. right there? Could you tell the world what I told you about J.J. Reddick and you wouldn't listen because you just echoed what I told you back then? I told you how valuable he was. Are you acknowledging, Max Kellerman, <laughs> that you have learned the error of your way? Do we need another hiding moment from you? Because I said this I about J.J. Reddick. one word answer for you. Yeah. I have one word answer for you. Ready? Yes. Whoops. Oh. <laughs>
Go ahead, now, man. Now, yes, they're missing Rex. But, but, but look Go what Daryl Morey did, Stephen A. All right. Go look ahead. what Daryl Morey did. And, and, and Ben Dietrich pointed this out on Twitter. What do, what do Dwight Howard and Seth Curry and Danny Green all have in common? They're extremely efficient scorers. Seth Curry can really stretch the court, right? Because he creates extra space like his brother does. He can bomb from deep like J.J. Redick. Not all three-pointers are created equal. Danny Green is an actual 3 and D guy. He can actually shoot the three and then also really defend. And Dwight Howard's an excellent defender and really is very efficient in the paint because that's where all his shots come from. Okay, but how does this help Embiid? Why does this mean it's going to be Embiid? The reason Embiid suffered last year is because there, you, you could double Embiid. Like, you're going to leave Josh Richardson's not bothering anybody. He's mm -hmm. really more of a D and 3 guy than a 3 and D guy. You, you're going to leave Seth Curry alone? You know what Seth Curry means? It means Joel Embiid, who is among the most efficient scorers in the league, particularly in crunch time, Stephen A. Last five minutes of the game, five points or fewer, he was the most clutch player in the league. He shot nearly 50% from three in those situations. He mm -hmm. shot over 50% from the field in his true shooting percentage. I think something like 72%. It was off the charts, right? Now he has Seth Curry and Danny Green and real spacing and, and the ability to punish you, because he's an underrated passer, to punish you if you try to double him. Embiid's going to have a monster season if he stays healthy. And in fact, as great as Simmons is, he's already a great player, Embiid will be the best player on the team. Embiid has attempted 747 three-pointers in his career. The last two seasons, he threw up 263. Last season, 172 three-pointers. Doc Rivers is going to have to change that because ben, Joel Embiid needs to get his behind in the, in the, on the block. You know, use that backside, back cats down, use that tremendous footwork with his tremendous touch and wreak havoc and force people to descend upon him to help create. If he were to do that, then he could give Ben Simmons a run for his money. But the fact of the matter is until we see it, we can't believe it. When I'm looking at Ben Simmons, I'm taking into account that he's not a three-point shooter. I'm taking into account that he's not going to attempt to, to shoot three-pointers. But I'm also taking into account everything else we've already seen. And what we've already seen from him, I think, makes him a better facilitator for other success than Joel Embiid. Real quick. Real quick, forget about the three for a second. The reason the three is a good shot as opposed to the mid-range nowadays is if they're equally contested, they didn't used to be, but if they're equally contested, then you might as well get an extra point for your troubles, right? Shoot it from three if you're going to hit it around the same rate nowadays because they practice it so much as a mid-range. Here's my issue okay. with Ben Simmons, Stephen A. It's not even the three. How about within 15 feet? Not in the paint, but within 15 feet. Can you try some jump shots from there? Can you try to shoot the, the, the mid-range in at least? Like, just shoot the ball? Because he doesn't even do that. And when I hear Doc Rivers talk about he doesn't care if Simmons shoots, I'm like, all right, Doc, I get it from three. He's not coming. He's got to shoot from somewhere. Because otherwise, the playoffs come around, he's in the dunker spot again. You know, and shake Milton. Someone else is going to have to handle the ball. So I, for that reason also, I will take MB by a hair. Well, obviously, the more points, the better. Last season, the 76ers outscored their opponents by just under one point per, uh, per 100 possessions. All right, guys, we're going to wrap up the conversation there. We have more.